What's going on out there, everybody? This is your friend, your boy, your brother. This be me now. This is the fishing preacher. And we want to welcome you back to the gospel of fishing. Listen, we had to go fishing, man. I went with my boy, Hook'em Stew, over on Fishing 316. Y'all go check out his page. You're doing very good over there. And listen, man, we went out here to Upper Sardis Lake up here at Hurricane Landing, up around there in Oxford, Mississippi, my hometown, my original hometown. Uh, but listen, y'all, we're going out to them Sokole. We're going out to them Mr. Crappy in this video here. And so listen, I want y'all to get your tackles and your reels because we about to go to Fisherville. We'll see you on the water. Y'all, he got to go back. He ain't quite big enough. Oh, oh that hurt the feelings. Oh. Wading in the water. Got two keepers in the bucket. Let y'all see them. Two keepers in there. Sawders and Grenada got the most uh, strict size limits there are. When it comes to crappie fishing in the state of Mississippi, I want to make sure you get you some size because you can't keep a 15. Now that's a keeper. That better be a keeper. Huh? Where you get that fish at, boy? Hey, hey, show them show to the show them to the gospel of fishing right there. Yeah, that gotta be a keeper, man. Bruh. Hold on, man. Let me grab the back. Yeah, that's a keeper, man. Huh? That's a keeper, bro. No. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all seen it for yourself. Uh -oh. You talking about hurting your heart. Hey, man. Well, you got to let slabs like that go. That was a, man, that's a slab, dog. You got to let those go, but you, you try to be a good sportsman. Yeah, we trying to be good Samaritans out here, because, bro. And, uh, return the fish. You know, plus we don't want any tickets. Yeah, we don't want no ticket today. Dang it. There you go, y'all. Creek, you got one. There you go. Come here, come here, babe. Yes. Where you measure it? Where the measure? I just want to make sure for myself. <laughs> I just, I just gotta know for the preachers. The pre fish preacher just gotta know for himself. Ooh, yeah, he look a little short, but I got a toy. 
Before I let them make the cut, Lord. He don't look like it. Like Y'all done some fillets. I got the throw, but yeah, he left me. <laughs> Y'all, that hurt the preachers hard. That hurt the preachers hard. I gotta throw him back. <sighs> I scared one off, y'all was huge. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, too. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Look at that. Come on out there. Let me see him. Look at that, y'all. Huh? That's a keeper, ain't it? They all not have a size limit on magnolia since they don't re re reproduce. Look at that. Look at that. Check them. Man, check that fish, man. He might, he might make he might make 12 by the half. He, he might make 12 by the half. It's 10 and 10 and 10. 12. Look at that. 12 from way from here. Y'all, that hurts our heart so bad because 10 inches is keepers everywhere. And I just walked through there. I should have caught, but I scared him up on to you. Now what I did was I drug it across. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. I went in the tree and drug it out. Oh my thing was Yep. He looked like a good one. Hey, I ain't got the measure. It was it's on the boat. Y'all, they gotta be 12 inches, boy. Anywhere else, that would be a nice slab keeper. And don't look like he gonna make 12. Look at that. Oh my God. Like they get shell shocked or something. Man, this don't be no keeper. I'm gonna be mad. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's, that's a keeper. I got you. All right, that joke, boy. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. I can feel. I can feel the weight on it. Praise God. Yeah. Almost 13. Almost 13. I yeah. Go. I done call enough out of here. Well, let me hold my fish up on the camera, babe. Yeah, preacher got him out of there. Preacher got him out of there. Finally. Oh, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video uh your boy had a heavy heart and a joyful heart at the same time oh it hurt my heart it, oh lord it hurt my heart to sit there and have to throw back 
all them 11 and a half, 11 and three quarter inch fish, 11 inch, 11 and a half crappie on any other lake, those would be slab and keepers uh, on most lakes, but Sardis Lake and Grenada Lake has, uh, that I know of has two of the strictest size limits. Uh, well, I believe Sardis has, to, Sardis, which we know has to be 12 inches in order for you to keep the crappie. They have to be 12 inches and you only can keep 15 crappie off the lake. And then Grenada, they got to be 14 inches, my God. So you can just imagine, you can just imagine the heartbreak when you got a 13 inch slab sitting in the boat or a 12 inch slab and you got to put them back in the water on Grenada. But in Sardis, them 11 and a half, 11 and three quarter, I mean, we threw back, I say a good 10, 12 uh, of those or better because man, a lot of we didn't get caught in the video. But y'all, it still was a joy to go fishing, to feel that thump, to feel that pole bend. Uh, like I said, wading in the water, I definitely will be doing it again. Your boy going to get them waders ASAP. You hear me? But today the water with condition was very murky and muddy. So whenever you have those type of conditions, the best thing to do is get you some high visible colors, pink, uh, white, uh, chartreuse, uh, something in that nature, okay? Just so it can be a little more visibility for the fish in which when fish are spawning and, and uh, things like that, they're very aggressive anyway. And crappie have very good eyesight, but they're also very picky, all right? So we hope you enjoyed this video. And listen, y'all stay tuned. We coming back with more. And I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to the Fishing Preacher, AKA, amen, Apostle Alva Crowley. Listen, y'all check out the Real Love Center on our facebook page uh we're doing uh non-profit and ministry so listen please go check us out over on facebook or you can go to reallovecenter.com we want you to get involved all right we're looking for sponsorships donations because we are trying to get out and, and to impact our community okay but until then don't y'all forget who god get your tackles in your reels because we got to go to fisherville we'll holler at y'all